All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem one over five to the power of one over five. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first use the property a to the power of one over n is equal to the nth root of a. So in this case, one over five to the power of one over five is gonna translate into the fifth root of one over five using this property. And this is the same thing as the fifth root of one over the fifth root of five. I just separated these two, which is the same thing as one over the fifth root of five because the fifth root of one is one. Now, what I'm gonna do is multiply this by the fifth root of five to the power of five minus one over the fifth root of five to the power of five minus one. And this is the same thing because this is the same thing as one. And the reason I'm doing this is to simplify this and you'll see how this works in a minute. So this is gonna turn into the fifth root of phi to the power of four over the fifth root of five times the fifth root of phi to the power of four. And the fifth root of five times the fifth root of phi to the power of four is the same thing as the fifth root of five times phi to the power of four. And five times phi to the power of four, this is the same thing as phi to the power of one times phi to the power of four, is gonna equal phi to the power of one plus four, which is equal to phi to the power of five. So I get fifth root to the power of phi to the power of four over fifth root of phi to the power of five. Now phi to the power of four is 625, so I get the fifth root of 625 over the fifth root of five to the power of five is just five. So this is my answer.